All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, I guess I did first things first. I did end up asking the uh, subreddit uh, about the fourth episode. Uh, long story short, it actually is in development. I assume that given the timestamps of the mod being created in March 2018, episode three coming out September 2019, and you know, it being December 2020, I, I figure with the timestamps being the amount of time between now and the third episode coming out in the amount of time between the third episode coming out and the conception of the mod being around the same. I figured that was bad news and that has been dropped, but, um, or that has been discontinued, but no, it actually is in development, but basically it's just, it, it's kind of in, um, what's it called purgatory or like it's development purgatory or what would you call it? It's kind of in like limbo or whatever, where it's like not really being worked on it, but it's like partially done. I don't know. Basically, it's going to be a while before it um, comes out. If anything, it'll probably be like, and yeah, since I already recorded, and since the mod's actually pretty good, I'm going to follow through with it. That's just kind of disappointing. I guess I need to hope that Monica's portrayed well in the um, other routes, but yeah, I guess I'd be satisfied with that. If not, then that's actually a waste of my time, kind of like MC's Revenge. Like if not only she's not going to get a route, but then also be portrayed shitty in the other routes, then that's just a complete waste of time. But yeah, if she's portrayed fine, then I guess that that's more than enough to ask for given some of these other mods like MC's Revenge. But yeah, I feel as though, if anything, again, I think this will be like Fallen Angel where I'm doing, I'll do the first three um, now I'll label it as incomplete. And then if I get wind or word of the fourth episode coming out, which may be, which may very well be next winter, um, I'll go back and play it simply because again, yeah, you don't come across a lot of um, Monica route mods these days. I actually think longer roads was the first one I played. And that was literally like not too long ago. So it's, yeah, it's actually, um, you don't come across a lot of Monica routes and mods these days. I hope it just, I hope it takes the, um, what's it called? I hope it takes, well, I guess salvation. That That's not really a route though, more so the, than just the mod itself, but that was a pretty good um, portrayal. But I guess I kind of hope um, the Monica route, or I guess the episode as they call them, uh, the Monica episode does away with her sentience, kind of li like how Longer Roads did and focus on a different issue. Mainly just because I, I think that was really smart of Longer Road simply because like that's such a hard issue to deal with. Salvation did it and they did it pretty well. Like that's one of my favorite mods, I'd say, and they executed pretty well on that. But um, obviously, you know, that kind of mod was revolved around, that, that was more so a story-based mod than a route-based mod. So it, it would probably be harder for them to um, follow through or accomplish that here. As opposed to Salvation, like Longer Roads as well, if they were to go the Sentience route, but they didn't. And I feel like that would, I feel like that would be the smart choice. I guess, I'm not sure. They're probably already in development. So it's kind of like meaningless or pointless, but yeah, I kind of hope that's what they do. Cause, and again, so far the mod's seemingly good. I guess we'll get more of an idea how the um, routes are once we finish them. Cause again, we are in Siori's route right now, so obviously and her character has unique uh, custom uh, pose so she gets her own um uh what would you call it like yeah is it character model uh, yeah she gets her own character model custom character model I'm not sure if that's because we're on our episode or not because it was like that when you know we just booted it up so but yeah I really hope they um I really hope that episode four does actually come out um I'll be waiting eagerly to play it um yeah, it, it'll be something like Fallen Angel where I come back to it like a year later once it's out. But yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not sure I have anything else to say. Um, yeah, I guess I still think this was the right choice because, again, this is more of a Longer Roads S type mod. Encore is definitely more of a finale type mod. So I'll save that. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I just I guess we just kind of have to. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. 
Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because, again, this does this is very similar to what happened with a Blue Skies in the Monica route in that, but obviously it's not it's not like of that scale or that it's not the exact same situation. This one's more so just it's been in development purgatory. So, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of disappointing because again, there aren't a lot of Monica based um, or Monica route based mods. Ultimately, if once I start to, cause again, I have my mods list. Once I finish that, I'll probably just play all the Monica based mods just because there really aren't that many. And, I really haven't played like again the only ones that I really think focused on her were um uh longer roads in her route and salvation which was again more story based but yeah I guess let's just get back into it and thank god there's no auto save feature so we can actually control our saves I can hit skip button but okay thanks for letting me know but this isn't a uh, skippable text so why don't we share the poems we wrote now I wonder if we actually get to pick I can't wait to read yours. And she singles the MC out. Yeah, same. I feel sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve a poem. I mean, come on, you can put in effort to sound excited. By the way, do you remember the right poem last night? Did she already ask us that? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Because again, the MC in this situation, he's actually like, because besides being the newcomer to the club, he's the only one like without any experience. So there's something to be said about that. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. We know Sayori's inspiration, but well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. How is that even possible? This man must have like binocular vision or whatever. Like I don't like, or he doesn't even wear glasses. Now it's he and your reluctantly complies well, reach into their bags. I do the same myself. Are we actually going to pick? Oh, no, we're just defaulting to Sayori. Sayori mulls over my poem. Like, she's trying to glean some deeper meaning from it. Okay, we're just jumping right into her. And that makes sense. I mean, I figured I figured this mod, there's going to be no choices. Because, again, choices don't make a god a mod good. We know that from MC's Revenge. But had a lot of choices, but not good of a mod. So, But this mod, with zero choices, is off to a good start. So... But yeah, I mean, choices choices really don't mean anything if there's no weight behind them. And you don't need choices to put weight behind your mod, even if that if that makes any sort of sense. But yeah, I mean, obviously we know what Sayori wrote hers about. She's trying to pull what MC may have written his about. If she can find one, she's a better person than me. Your poem's really abstract. Well, that's because I was trying to uh, comb the recesses of the human um, experience. Man's like, he, he's just on another plane of existence at this point. <laughs> Abstract, that made it seem like it was for uh, Monica, but obviously we know that's not the case. Because again, we're not on, first off, we're not even on her route. Second off, she may not even be sentient. So by comparing it to, uh, you had no idea what you were doing, did you? That is, if it wasn't obvious, I had no idea what I was doing. That's okay. Your first try is always awkward. I mean, that makes sense. I wouldn't expect anything more. You should see my first poem. I think I nearly broke Monica. How would that even be possible? Well, maybe I should take a look at it. Does she have it on hand? It might help me show what direction to go in so I can improve. Oh, um, I put it in my room somewhere. Oh, I see. Was it the one that lit on fire? Gone forever. Perhaps some Fuchia archaeologist will stumble upon it a hundred years from now. Anyway, here's my poem. I hope you like it. And it's the same poem. Is this the same poem? No, this is just the... Uh, this is just the normal poem. So yeah, that's why I was like, well, I'll read it through just because I'm actually like in a good mood with this mod as opposed to MC's Revenge. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Using my forehead to help me out bad, making you rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. It's like, Sayori, yes. I think I know what this poem means. Did, does he actually? Because I, because here's the thing: we know this MC. He's he's more aware than the Act One MC. Like he took notice of Sayori's sleep schedule and also her fake smile, which are both very, what would you call it, like niche or I guess like they're very um, like obscure things, especially like a fake smile. Like I know I can't really tell that. I would be more suspicious of the sleep schedule, but he was able to pick up on the face. So. And I'm he may actually like be legitimate here because we know she thought he wouldn't be able to pick up on it. 
But I mean, he may actually the Jim Millie do because I'm pretty sure in the original act one, he just says, Siori, did you write this while you breakfast or some stupid thing, like some stupid line? And then she's like, oh, yeah, um, you do? Yes, Siori, I do. Um, well, you wait until it's more. OK, never mind. He's he's an idiot. You wait to do it until it's morning, didn't you? What? You woke up, realized you forgot to write. You wrote about what was right in front of you. I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, again, she, damn, so he he didn't pick up on it. She she was legitimately worried. Like, look at this line. Like, she was like, wait, he, he actually picked up on that? But no, he didn't. So she's still in the clear for now. But he's still suspicious of her sleep schedule and her, her like, almost, well, he doesn't know it's a persona yet. But he was, at least her and her, his interaction with her yesterday caused her to raise some suspicion of her. You got me there. <laughs> Still, it's a very nice poem, especially since you wrote it on such short notice. I mean, it's very, it's a very Sayori poem. What does that even mean? And that's why I like it. <laughs> especially like the last line. That was a tough one. Yeah, it's like, you, you know, you, it, it's like, that would be some like Nasky logic where it's like, okay, yeah, I made it in direct contrast with the rest of it. I had eggs and toast. It's pretty good and nutritious breakfast, really. You were late for school again, but you still have time to make and eat breakfast. And again, he's still, he's still suspicious. He's still, he, or even if he's not suspicious, he's taking notice. But yeah, we, cause we know she doesn't get up late. She gets up early. That's why she takes afternoon naps. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That is true. You wouldn't want me to come to school cranky, would you? Especially, especially for, um, especially for school wise to get you through the morning until lunch. Cause presumably they have lunch at school. So breakfast to course sort of stave you off until there and give you the energy for the beginning of the day especially if you have something like PE or like sports or whatever like some athletics uh-huh well I guess th this wouldn't apply to them so you always just generally athletic but that may be genetics I don't know I suppose not that was like oh my god the conversation with Monica in Act 3 where she just like she talks about um her own phys like her uh what's it called not her physique but like her that's not the right term but just sort of her own athleticism and comparing herself to Sayori in that way. Anyway, I'll work on making my poem less abstract tonight. You mean actually writing something and you remember to write yours tonight. She did write it last night though. We know this. So you're going to be really impressed with my poem tomorrow. She, she's okay. I've got to say, Sayori, I really like your writing style. I actually like this better. That's focusing on Sayori's sharing with others as opposed to just the MC. So, but yeah, I mean, we know she did write it last night though. And with that line, and, and she's like, you're going to be really impressed by my poem tomorrow, you know, because again, because she had such a close call with him figuring out, obviously that didn't happen. She may try to double down, try to make it even more obvious, but kind of reminds me of my own. Oh, wow. Thanks, Natsuki. That means a lot coming from a poem writing expert like you. Well, you haven't read my poem yet. Well, I mean, just she knows it's similar at least. So, but it is pretty good. <laughs> Especially like how you're conveying so much with simple language. I suspect this might this might just be about someone if you catch my drift. So Natsuki caught on. That's interesting. Because again, I this mod's so good so far. Definitely worth, even though there's no Monica route yet. But it, it would be, I would be disappointed if they portray Monica like if, if they don't portray Monica well in the other routes. But I mean, given how well this mod's doing so far, I don't suspect that to be the case. That would be more like along the lines of MC's revenge, but. Yeah, but this is this is so this is just such a good idea as opposed to folk since this is a Sayori centered episode as opposed to focusing on the MC sharing with others you focus on Sayori sharing with others and how Natsuki was able to pick up what it's about. Oh, what makes you think that Natsuki? Oh, please blow through my blinds. You missed me. I trust you too. This is about a guy, isn't it? Is is Natsuki gonna figure out? I feel like that'd be um that that'd be very Natsuki esque. That that'd be a pretty good um that'd be something she would be able to pick on. I think she'd I think her I think Natsuki would be able to pick on it, pick up on it more than anyone else, more than Monica and especially more in Yuri, but oh well I mean, uh-huh. So you always got a crush. And it because here's the thing. Then the next question Natsuki has to ask is, okay, but that raises the question on whom? And it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Who is it? Why are you even asking that question? Because we know Natsuki is smart. Like I talk about a smart Sayori is, but Natsuki is also smart as well. She, she really doesn't need to ask that question. I mean, it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. Like, I mean, between her, she was literally the one who like berated Sayori for talking so much about the MC. 
but she's still asking this question. I mean, do I know him? I mean, he may or may not be in the vicinity. Well, I never said it is in Raven, is it? And and it is. She, so that's immediately she immediately figured it out. That's why I was like, it, it really doesn't take a genius, because I mean, here's the thing. So we know that's true, is it? We, well. I don't even know why I'm saying is it because we just know it's true. That's literally the game and the mod. So, but yeah, I mean, that's so good. So she immediately figures out because that would be, I figured if Sayora was really smart, she would have done it like uh, Natsuki did in act two where she had a separate poem for the MC and then um, what's it called? Or she had a separate poem for the MC and a separate poem for the rest of the girls. But yeah, Natsuki, she just immediately figures out. That goes to show, you know, how smart Natsuki is. She's not an idiot. And I've talked about how smart Sayori is, but Natsuki's up there too. She's definitely, the, yeah, she's definitely like the third smartest. Because even though Yuri's like book smart, Natsuki's, she, Yuri wouldn't be able to catch on to this. Or at least maybe I'm not giving her enough credit, but this would definitely be something Natsuki would catch on. Raven? Oh, well, we've been friends for so long. That would kind of be weird. The tease, she's trying, here's the thing. Sayori's trying to play it off, but Natsuki already made her conclusion. Like, I mean, Look at, look at that face. Like, look at the character model they specifically chose. Or, well, no, that's just her character model would be, you know, her. But look at the pose they chose for this interaction. She knows. It It doesn't take a genius, you know. So would you say Raven's more of a brother to you then? Um, but again, here's the thing. I, I think Natsuki knows. I, I think she knows. Like, I, this is, she's just amusing Sayori at this point. Because she may want, she may not um wants Sayori to know that she knows so she may try and be backing off here but then that wouldn't really make sense I think she's more like trying to get Sayori to spill because I, I really think she knows at this point um I don't know if I'd put it quite that way brother you know uh why do you ask Nasi? yeah she now she's getting defensive that it's you know you aren't interested in him aren't that's that's bold that's a bold move on Sayori that's a bold move on her because again now she's turning the tides but um, what? That dummy? Of course not. The, the MC literally hasn't even spoken to her yet. Like they, they've had one interaction and that was the freaking pickup line interaction. Like they don't even know the other reads manga yet. Oh, well, that's too bad. Is she going to reveal you reads manga? You two make a cute couple. Oh, yeah. So now she 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 was able to um evade the conversation by turning the tides on the Natsuki. That's really smart of Sayori. But I think Natsuki knows. I, I think she knows and that she's just now on the defensive and she was a uh, she was trying to get Sayori to say it earlier, but well, whatever. Anyway, here's my poem. Fair to be amazed. Oh yeah, and then um yeah, just this poem. So I'm not gonna read it. Well, what do you think? Oh, there's a lot here in just a few words, of course. I knew you'd get it, Sayori. Well you seem like you were building up to something at the end that didn't happen. That was intentional. Say you up for a rhyme that didn't happen. Snaps you out of the rhythm suddenly. Kind of jarring, isn't it? Oh, so you did that on purpose? Wow. You really are great with poems. See, of course. So why'd you do that? Well, sometimes people around you do incredible things. You feel pretty small by comparison. And I've had, I've talked about this before where it's not so much about what others do that they do is great, or even you yourself perceive as great, but what sort of you do, which you perceive as great, like ir irrelevant or like independent of others. Like if you, like, let's say you have, work at like a small time job or something like let's say you live in like a very um rural like i guess smaller community like that could be a lot more like you're um like what you consider to be great could be a lot more like a lot smaller in form as opposed to like you know again what other people around you do so yeah i mean not that i understand that feeling or anything oh yeah me neither <laughs> definitely not me no 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 I was just assuming, of course. Yeah, assuming. I totally get it. So anyway, by keeping the language simple, you can express so much with the wordplay. Say a lot with a little. Wow, that's really neat. I can't wait to read more of your poems. <laughs> Anytime, Sayori. Uh, so is she going to read with Yuri? She is. This poem is very interesting, Sayori. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of time to write it, so it came up a bit short. I'm wondering if Yuri picks up on it, because I've been under, I think I've been counting out Yuri, underestimating Yuri, but then that takes me back to New Eyes. Like, I mean, even as a mod kid, New Eyes is my favorite game or my favorite mod. But yeah, I think I'm kind of counting out Yuri here. I wouldn't be surprised if she also caught on. Oh, but even still, there's a lot to unpack here. The way you use glowing and kissing in tandem with the morning. 
and end with I trust you. I suspect trust isn't the word you're looking for. Why, Sayori? Do I suspect you have your eyes set on a special song? So Yuri, because here's so Yuri is picking up on it. And I I if she shares with Monica, here's the thing. I think if she shares with Monica, Monica's despite what um, Sayori says, I think Monica's immediately going to suspect the MC, whether or not she's sentient. I guess for we should assume in a mod like this that she's not sentient, because it that it specifically said it doesn't include like, you know the story and like glitchiness of the original game so yeah i would assume that um yeah i assume that she's not sentient but i think even not being sentient i think monica's immediately gonna suspect to the mc like obviously natsuki and yuri they kind of they needed to dissect the poem first and then be like oh you know who's it about right but i think monica she's gonna read it and she's gonna immediately know that it's about the mc but and yeah, so Yuri's even figured it out. And I think that would sort of cause Sayori to like rethink her decision, you know, that because of how obvious it was to everyone else, you know, and maybe again, she'll do like, like how Natsuki did two separate poems, one for the MC, one for everyone else, but, or if she just doubles down and just so that the MC figures it out and she doesn't need to worry about everyone else knowing and the MC himself not knowing so. Yeah, oh, do tell. Um, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be about that. She's like, yeah, it's, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I finished it this morning and I was hungry for breakfast. It's like, you're, you're reading too much between the lines. Hmm. Well, if I'm reading this correctly, breakfast may not be all you are hungry for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yuri, that's our character for you. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa hold up. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to, you know, step out of line or anything. Yeah. And then she's like, cause now again, now see you already turned the tides on Yuri with that line. Like, damn, that was actually really, that was pretty bold on Yuri. That was a pretty good line. Not going to lie, but it's kind of nice to see a different side of you. That's why I'm like, that, that's a pretty good line. Not going to lie. Yuri unleashed. Oh, well we do. All, we all have to cut loose sometimes, I suppose. Anyway, I suppose I'll let it go for now, but you must share your secret with us soon. Cause again, Natsuki, Natsuki, she read it and then she Try and tried to go Sayori into saying it out, but then she herself suspected the MC. But then obviously Sayori turned the tide on her. Sayori tied on turned the tide on Yuri without her, you know, outwardly or without her suspecting the MC. But it would be something where like say Yuri may suspect the MC, but as opposed to Naski, she wouldn't directly tell Sayori. I could see that being something to where she'd rather, you know, keep it to herself, see what happens, as opposed to Naski, who's reads it is like oh who's it about oh it's about the mc isn't it but i think if sayori shares it with monica i think she's just she won't eat, she'll just cut to the chase i think she'll immediately assume it's the mc but uh sure thing yuri all right it's time to show you my poem so that means so that means um she's basically confirming that it is indeed true so yeah this poem uh, a ghost is this like one of your scary novels yuri he <laughs> he no sayori this isn't about an actual ghost it's about isolation oh how so well sayori and the, sp the speaker is clinging to the last bit of her safe space, afraid to reach out to others. But soon the life of her safe space will fade, as all the hour lights have. The speaker is untrue of herself, but soon she will be forced to either make a connection or be eternally lonely. Oh, that's so sad. Well, I suppose it is, but don't be upset. There's hope for the speaker of the poem. I'm sure she'll be able to make a connection. Perhaps she has met someone already that she can connect with. Are you already talking? Is she? Because we know she's probably talking about herself, and we know she may be talking about the MC, but I guess, because here's the thing. Sayori, she turned the tide on Natsuki by saying, you know, whether by asking if she had a crush on the MC, but obviously because Yuri hasn't outwardly said, oh, is it about the MC? Then there would be no real reason for Sayori to do that because that was more so a defense mechanism. But yeah, oh, you know, Yuri, it almost sounds like it's pulling something to do with you and the way you are talking now. That's why it's like, it almost sounds like there's a special someone for you too. Maybe you are, wait, what? Maybe you are hungry yourself. And <laughs> that's like, oh my God. Yeah, because she turned the tide on Yuri without specifically referencing the MC. So it's almost like she's retaliating with equal, uh, or I guess that's the wrong word, retaliate. But she's responding with sort of equal um, force or sort of equal, um, with, yeah, just an equal amount of force that Natsuki and Yuri had. But Sayori, I, uh, I'm not entirely, I'm not sure, surely you wouldn't suspect. I, um, I am a lady after all. <laughs> Sayori unleashed. And then with Monica. Well, Sayori, I can say with absolute certainty that your poetry writing skills have improved. Oh, wow. That means a lot to me, Monica. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I really enjoyed helping you out and watching your poetry get better. For example, I've noticed the way your poem plays with morning energy to describe something else. Oh, 
someone else. What do you mean, Malika? Well, the way you humanize the sun, combined with bits like it's a secret, lead me to think that maybe this poem isn't really about how happy you are to see the sun. <laughs> Perhaps our vice president has herself a little crap. It's like, not something, someone. Ah, well, uh, looks like I'm right. Come on, Sayori, who's the lucky guy? And I was, wow, I'm surprised. I thought Monica would read it and be like, is this about the MC? Like, I, I don't think, I thought that she wouldn't beat around, you know, the bush like Natsuki was like, oh, this is about someone is in, who is it? It's about the MC. And she eventually concedes that. Or Yuri, who doesn't even bring up the MC, but says, oh, after her analysis, she's like, oh, this is about someone, isn't it? I thought Monica would read it, be like, and then just straight up be like, is this about the MC? Like she would just, it would just be dead obvious to her. But no, she's like the artist. She's like trying to figure it out too. It's, well, you know, not everything has to have him. You're reading too much between the lines. Maybe it really was just about getting up in the morning. Uh-huh, sure, Sayori. Is, and then she immediately asks, who's the MC? You sure talk about him a lot. What? Well, he's been my friend forever, so of course I talk about him a lot. That doesn't mean anything, though. She's like, yeah, that because she had a better defense when uh, Natsuki asked me. Because, like, by comparing him to not a brother, but, like, saying, you know, it would be weird because we have friends for long. If you say so, Sayori. All right, I've read your poem. Like, go ahead and remind. She, she's just dropping the topic. I think... I think Monica knows. I think her and Natsuki potentially both know. Yuri, maybe not so much so because she didn't, but she may know as well. I mean, given she would just likely wouldn't say, she probably suspects, but I would say all three of them at least have some suspicion and then potentially Monica and Natsuki know, or if just one, it would be Monica, obviously, but okay. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, wait, I freaking... Oh my God, you can, you can, act, wait, what? You can actually, oh my God, you, you can use, you can use the freaking mouse wheel to go back in time. Oh, I guess that's actually really cool. What's the history? Yeah. Oh my God. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, so let's 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 read monica so it's still the hole in the wall poem though so i guess that raises the question of is she sentient or not couldn't have been me see the direction the speckle protrudes a noisy neighbor an angry boyfriend i'll never know i wasn't home peer inside for a clue no i can't see i real blind like a film left out in the sun but it's too late my retinas are you scorched with a permanent copy of a meaningless image it's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Oh, your poems are always so good, Monica. She was, maybe she'll talk about like, oh yeah, your poems are very similar to uh, Ravens or the MC. But uh, thanks for the compliments, Sayori. So this poem is a good example of what I was talking about earlier. It isn't literally about a hole in the wall. It's about a person coming to a real, uh, realization in their life. Through the metaphorical hole, the speaker sees an image of a different life. The final lines of the poem switch up the perspective, revealing that the speaker is trapped in the life they currently lead and are intrigued by what it could possibly be. So I guess this, I think this raises the question of whether or not she is sentient. It's said that it didn't have, you know, the original story, or it didn't have like the glitchiness like aspect of the original game, or it wasn't more so centered around that sort of aspect. So theoretically, or Logically, that would lead to, oh, maybe they just take the sentience away from Monica. But still, her having that poem makes me think otherwise in that in the way she's she's literally describing it as if, you know, that's like as if she's sentient. So I guess that's kind of the question it raises. Wow, that's deep. So how much of yourself is in this poem? I just realized that despite all the time we spent together in the literature club, I don't really know much about you. Well, I don't really offer much about myself. I'm a pretty private person. Since you asked yes, Sigur, there is a bit of me in this poem. Sometimes I feel like I don't have control over parts of my own life. And it frustrates me. But I found that writing poetry is a good way to at least some of those anxieties. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Because again, we know even if she's not sentient, we know via longer roads, a lot of her sort of despairs is a result of kind of her needing to maintain her persona or maintain like an outward appearance for everyone else, given her sort of social status. You're too nice of a person to have feelings like that. Hey, life is ups and downs. That's just the way things are. Some days are good, some days aren't. I think this poem just happened to come for a day that wasn't so great. But there's hope. Hope? See, is the hope represented by the guy looking in? Aha, <laughs> perhaps, see, or perhaps. So I, I think this I think this is suggesting she's sentient. Like, I mean, and that may, to be fair, that may be why, you know, her own episode is just in the, stuck in development limbo or development purgatory because they were trying to figure out, okay, how do we do this damn thing with her being sentient? But 
Because that's made it seem like she definitely is. That was a real, that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. I, I think that's such, that's so great what they did. Focus on Sayori sharing with everyone else as opposed to the MC. I can't help but feel that the R's are judging me soundly for my less than average writing ability. I wonder how the argument's going to play out. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my homes can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. Is this what I end up getting myself into? Is that more difficult than you thought it would be? Uh, you guys make it look so easy, but there are a lot of things to consider when composed in poem. Uh -huh, don't worry about it. It'll get easier. Yeah, I had a hard time at first, but Monica's helped me so much. Well, so you already think I had some change of focus has really helped your poetry shine. Change of focus? What do you mean? And then the MC, of course, he's the only one who hasn't picked up. He's the only one who hasn't figured out. Oh, my God. Obviously, I Monica may, she may be kind of oblivious. She may actually legitimately spill the beans that like, oh, yeah, this poem's about someone. <laughs> like, you know, it's metaphorical or whatever. But... I mean, maybe if it were Natsuki, maybe, or even Yuri, potentially, or maybe she may realize that she, if she suspects it's about the MC, she may not try and reveal it. But, well, what I mean by focus that the poem will change depending on how the subject is viewed. You see, in Eastern poetry, the poem is often delivered in a vacuum with the subject itself. But in Western poetry, the poem is often delivered by the composer, so the composer's thoughts and feelings are included in the poem itself. By injecting your own voice in the poem, you can change the tone overall effect. Wow, it's actually kind of interesting. So she didn't, because she could have just straight up said, Oh, change of tone, you know, change of tone. The poem's about someone, not, you know, the sun, like change of tone. Like, oh yeah, she's writing about someone. But no, she just gave some sort of vague description. You mentioned Western poetry and yesterday Sayori mentioned that you were pretty well versed in American literature. how do you get to be such an expert in that subject? Well, you see, and oh, so, oh my God. So Monica, oh my God, that's actually hilarious. So Monica was literally about to continue, but this is in the midst of their argument, like literally in the midst of their argument. He even told me he was impressed by it. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. That's why it's like, we're just, so that actually explains a lot. So the MC was, oh my God, this mod's so good. That's such a good decision. And it's such a little decision as well that the MC's having a conversation with Monica and Sayori while Yuri and Natsuki are, are arguing. That makes sense why no one really intervened until later. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you're so invested in trying to impress our new member here. Huh? That's not what I, uh, you're just, Yours stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Raymond appreciates my poem. Why do you appreciate yours? Huh? How do you know you didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I know. If I was full of myself, I will deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do all really cutesy. Oh, um, is everyone okay? That's why it's like, and that makes so much sense as to why no one intervened until later. Just that it was, the MC was actually having a conversation with Monica and Sayori. Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as the MC started showing up. And yeah, that's, a, that's why I like, whoa, 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 Nazi, I'm Nazi, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fine guys. Suddenly both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed, noticed I was standing there. Because he literally was. He only just got here now. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. She could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple rhymes more effective. And this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? It means you jump out of the room and I'll force them to figure it out. Let me explain that to him. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and mean the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right? Um, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? That, and that, this makes so much more sense from this. Um, again, this mod just does such a good job of providing background and context to these situations. Like it provide the background context that, oh yeah, their club needs another member to survive for Sayori's recruiting the MC. And that also, and besides that, Natsuki and Yuri not really have anyone to recruit. Um, and then now the background context that, oh yeah, the MC, Monica and Sayori were having a conversation while this was taking place, which is why no one intervened. It's not like I know anything about writing. Natsuki. Natsuki is to me drying up any words I in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri. Let's see, but Yuri's expression is so defenseless. I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori. <laughs> He's like, Yeah. Everyone's fine making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fine when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Raven, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Damn, like Nazi, just heart ruthless. He's like, uh, this ain't about her. I agree. It's unfair for us to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Literally, no one cares about your conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what stuck up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your maturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why no And then it's like, whoa, she's, she's about to freaking clap Yuri. It's like, Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. 
I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. I ask these poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And yours poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because, well, also, I ask these cute. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yours, yours booms are the same as they always were. That That's big and beautiful. It's like that. Like the MC is like, all right, I'm going to head out. He's like, for Lich Club, we sure seem to talk about this this that, that was only the second time it was brought up though like the, and first the mc had can't say anything because he literally let off with a pickup line like he, he literally can't say anything about that say yours he always stands triumphantly monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression i'll make some tea yuri rushes off she's like all right i'm gonna head out now she sits down with a blank expression on her face staring at nothing so this is why i say yours vice president i whispered to monica she nods in return to be honest i might come off as a good leader and i can organize things I'm not very good with people. Because again, that's why I said, like, because again, this is all harkened back to in longer roads. Ultimately, with her needing to maintain this persona and this appearance, right? Given her social status, but ultimately she's not this perfect person. And, you know, she has flaws. And I told, I talked about this in, a, I think it was Outcast, where she really should have recognized that Yuri wouldn't have been able to follow through on the poem sharing during the festival, but she ultimately didn't. And that as leader, you need to be able to recognize your subordinates. But yeah, it's like, yeah, I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, it's kind of embarrassing to me. Haha. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means he always amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She doesn't always show up. I think Sayori knows a lot more about people than she lets on. And again, because this is after, oh my God. And this is after Sayori's conversation with Monica about her poem. And now Monica knows I think Monica more than anyone would know that Sayori's poem's about the MC, but yeah, it's after that. I see. Take good care of her, okay? You can count on me. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. How about, and Raven, how about you? I should have just named myself MC, because I always just like it. Now it's just like 50-50, but yeah, I'd say same. It was an easy thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Ready, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. Can't really see him not enjoying it either. That's why it's like, I mean, they, that's sort of like a reconnecting thing. Where like, if you, let's say, had spent a lot, used to spend a lot of time with someone, had sort of like a gap or grace period, and then you get back with them like, and that's not even like specifically from a romantic or like relationship perspective or like dating perspective, just like general friendship. But obviously we know there's um, some of those elements in here, but because we had almost, I'd ask you about the events at the club today. So see, or do you or Inoski normally fight like that? Oh no. In fact, that's the first time I've seen them argue so much. They have pretty different tastes, so they don't always agree, but they've never gone at each other's throats that way. I know it could have riled them up so much. We obviously know what it's about. I have a pretty good idea actually. Oh, you don't hate them, do you? I swear they are like that all the time. I mean, you wouldn't know since you just joined all, but still, don't worry, Sior. I like them both. I was just concerned as all. Oh, good. I mean, I know you're reading with both of them today, so I figured you like them. Yeah, because he actually read with both of them as opposed to simply picking one. But, well, by reading with them, I got to know them a little bit and see why you're all friends. See, this is what I was talking about. Getting out there and meeting people, not being a shot at them. This is great. Yeah, well, I didn't expect to become the protagonist of the um, and they either. I mean, you know, or a uh, uh, VN like dating simulator. The situation of him seems to have complete pass over Sayori's head. But here's the thing. We know his own situation with regards to Sayori is passing over his head. So yeah, that's like, there's some equal footing there. So not that it's all bad. Well, here's my house. I'm going to make sure my poem for tomorrow is even better than today's. Have a good evening. You too, Sayori. And yeah, now we're at uh, Sayori's. It'll be interesting that night. Why is that in all caps? What do you mean? You just... Okay, we're really doing this. I mean, okay, I was, oh, don't do this game, please. Please don't do this mod. I just, I was just talking about how good this was and how they didn't need to make her sentient. And that's like, okay, yeah, she is sentient given, you know, what she said about her uh, poems or whatever. But I was literally talking about how good this mod is. And I was talking about how, okay, Monica doesn't have a route. But ultimately, I hope they portray her well on 
the other routes, it would be, it would, if they, if she doesn't have a route and they didn't portray her well in other routes, then it would ultimately just be a waste of time. But I did not want to see this. I did not want to see this. I was hoping it would be Sayori talking with herself about, oh, was that the right decision or not now? And everyone else is caught on. But no, I mean, also, why is it all caps? Uh, this is not what I wanted to see. This is not what I wanted to see. Please don't do this game, please. What do you mean? And what is he saying? You two say, or you think I'd be elated to hear that? Don't take this the wrong way. I mean, this is an amazing thing you've done for me. What? Is this going to be some meta thing where she recognizes that we've installed a mod? I mean, if she's, to be, okay, to be fair, she doesn't have a route in this mod either, but she may not know that because they may, um, what's it called, have this with the, um, uh, what's it called, intention that, oh yeah, they may write each route as if all the other routes existed, including Monica's. So if she recognizes she's in an actual mod, then, you know, she'd be like, oh, wait, does this have, uh, is there a route for me? But, but this is all so sudden, especially for you to call me in the middle of the night. Tell me this grand plan exists for me, apparently without my input. Who the hell is she talking to? What the hell is going on? Because she's not talking to us, the player. She's talking to like actually someone. But is, is this like, is, this, is she talking to Sayori? Does Sayori has some sort of plan to confess or win over the MC? But that wouldn't really seem like the case because she's talking about grand plan as if like, okay, yeah, this is like involving the world or the mod itself. But of course I could say no. Did you ever think about that? No, I'm sorry. I overreacted. Look, let me talk to some people at school tomorrow and I'll look for your letter. Let's see. Hello, hello. Who's she speaking to? Oh, lost the connection. What was I going to call this one? Dreams of love and literature? Crumple. Oh, she's talking about the looks like love isn't in the cards for Monica. Yeah, so she was talking about, she's talking about like, um, she's, she's talking about her own poem. Let's see, I wish someone would say, isn't our choice too much to ask? Okay, hold on. I need to see the history. Like, I need to break this down. So this, because at first I thought this meant, oh, she was talking with us, the player, and that, oh, she's sentient, and she was going to do some shit. And I'm like, please don't go in that direction. Like, please. I've, I've said, you know, Monica doesn't have a route, so that's already an L. But if, you know, they portray her poorly in every other route, then that's just a waste of time, right? So, yeah, I mean, so what do you mean? Is you think I'd be elated to hear that? Let's see. Don't take this the wrong way. I mean, this is an amazing thing you've done for me, but this is also something, especially for you to call me in the middle of the night. Tell me about this grand plan that exists for me, apparently without my input. Of course I could say no. Do you think about that? No, I'm sorry I overreacted. Let me look. Look, let me talk to some people at school tomorrow, and I'll look for your letter. Let's see. Yeah, and then this, she's kind of talking about her poem, but I mean, let's see. I don't, so... Yeah, because mainly the main point is the the main point of this is between here and here. So or is between this because this is obviously this is just um, this is this bottom part's just her own self pity. But um, this part is mainly what it's about. Let's see. So what do you mean? Do you think I would be allayed to hear that? Don't take this the wrong way. I mean, this is an amazing thing you've done for me. So it's someone doing something for Monica, but this is also sun, especially for you to call me in the middle of the night to tell me this grand plan that exists for me, apparently without my input. Of course I could say no. Do you ever think about that? No, I'm sorry. I overreacted. Let me talk to some people at school tomorrow and I'll look for your letter. So I, th so I think, because obviously this is probably something that will, will be revealed uh, later on. My best guess at this point is that Sayori in order to cover her own tracks has some sort of plan to set up Monica with the MC. I think that's kind of what she's doing now. Like she's, I think as opposed to doubling down, she's backing off. And this is Sayori speaking to Monica and she has some sort of grand plan to set up Monica with the MC. Because obviously if it was for herself, but um, if it was for herself, then she wouldn't be saying, Monica wouldn't be saying like, oh, you've done for me. Like she wouldn't be saying, uh, you've done this for me, right? And that ultimately Monica could say no, right? And then like, look, talking to our people at school tomorrow, looking for a lot. But I guess maybe it's not about, um, maybe it's not about, but I guess here's the thing. The question is, like I said, or the thing is, this is probably something that will be revealed more later on. So we don't know enough about this now to make a good judgment. But I feel like, if anything, for our best guess now would be say, oh, this is some sort of grand plan for Sayori to set up Monica with the MC. But 
I mean, and then obviously, then she has her own self pity, like lost connection. What was I going this call? Call this one dreams of love and literature, and then she throws it out, and it looks like love isn't on the cards. I wish someone would say. And then yeah, this is more her her own self pity. I guess the question being, is she sentient? Because her saying, I wish. I guess this doesn't necessarily imply sentience. And then another choice, but I guess another choice being she could say no, but she felt like she couldn't, like because she could theoretically like say no to whatever it was this this is probably in relation to above but i think i wish someone would save me because at first i thought this is sentience but i don't think that necessarily implies that because at first i thought uh, you just see monica show up on a black screen and i'm like like ultimately I, I was just like please don't take that direction but it didn't so i don't think she's sentient like i don't think this implies sentience at all and again i think what it boils down to is ultimately this will be something that will likely be revealed later but ultimately it will be revealed later on but for now i think our best or and we don't have good judgment on now but i think now our best get it, guess is it's some sort of grand plan from sayori to set up monica with the mc but i guess i don't know so in our day and our afternoon with the literature club so we know something's going on behind the scenes because again before the previous nightly interactions hmm. The previous nightly interactions were just Sayori talking with herself. But now it's Monica talking about some sort of like grand plan. So I think maybe if it's not about Sayori setting up Monica with the MC, it may be about something related to the club recruitment and maybe just even at survival. But yeah, I guess I don't know. Because she did talk about how I'll go, to, let me talk to some people at school. So coming here has really started to become the high point of my day. So how long has it been? Because this doesn't imply it's this third day like how it normally would be this implies that it's been some time so well i was initially just excited to spend time with pretty girls and i'd be lying if I said that wasn't still a factor is i really come to enjoy my time with this group for more reasons than just that so it has been a while so there has been some sort of time scheme because i figured like okay he wouldn't say this if it was the third day which is what it normally would be there's been some sort of time skip for the first time i feel like i belong to something like i'm finally part of a group so it's definitely beneficial I guess you was right. I never noticed it before, but getting out and being part of something has been really nice. I gotta say, this room started to feel more and more like a home away from home. Of course, it'd feel more like home if you had a video game system. So, I opened the door, step into the now familiar club room. Ladies, I've arrived. Ladies, and the party can start now. Greetings. It's Yuri's eyes sucked into a book. I know she has her copy of Portrait of Markov, ready for our reading session later. So, we still read that with her. Little by the way, I feel like I'm getting to see more of your personality. I'm for the more time I spend with her. And I also like the approach this mod has, whereas though it's like, it's not him picking one person. Obviously, the mod's about Sayori, but he's still spending time with everyone regardless. Almost like unfolding the pages of a book, which is pretty apt considering her love of reading. Look around, but I don't see Natsuki. I guess she hasn't gone here yet. Natsuki's really opened up to me ever since we discovered we both enjoy manga. So they did both discover that. I was kind of worried she hated me at first, but I'm starting to see an R side of her as well. It's kind of nice to find a kindred spirit that understands the unusual part of me. I really look forward to reading with both of them. And again, so he still spends time with both of them. Of course, being in the club has given me a lot of extra time with wait a minute, it's quiet. He's like, too quiet. Where's Sayori? I know what that means. I raised myself for the inevitable impact. Raven. And then Sayori bounds off thin air and wraps around me, one for constrictor like hugs. She's just like, he's like, wait a second. Someone's not here yet. Wait, it's like, he, he's like a freaking, um, this is like a freaking like predator type situation. Sayori, hey, I've missed you like a drowning man. This is air. Purely sweet. Taking it back just a little. Wow, that was really poetic. He's, hey, that's her his next poem. Spending time with the electrical has really expanded your artistic abilities. Yeah, well, Around my bruised ribs, right what you know. So anyway, you want a snack? We get over to the vending machine so we can get something. No, I'm good. Oh, really? We don't have any snacks today. And I bet you're pretty hungry after a long day of school. Not really. Are you sure? Sayori, I've known you long enough to know when you're begging for food. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Elementary, my dear. Literally elementary is primary. I put on my best British detective voice. I propose the theory that you've already spent all your money for the day. And, and, and again, this isn't, because in act one, it was a Noxus. She just wanted to spend time with him. And he's like, actually, you're just trying to get food out of me. But no, that's not the case. But yeah, ultimately now it's, it's not that obnoxious. He's just like, they just cut the chase and he already knows, but you still probably go with her regardless. So you decide to have me accompany you to the vending machine where you would conveniently forget your money. What? Unless you'd ask me to help you out. And I, being the gentlemanly type that I am, would surely assist you by giving you money. And in the end, you'd get a free snack. What? What do you have to say to that, Sayori? Well, that all sounds good, Mr. Detective, but do you have any proof? I really need one of those cursed smoking pipes right now. Well, there's an easy way to find out. Show us the contents of your coin purse. What? 
is looks like I got her. Oh, fine. You win. I take a bow. Game set match. How did you know? Anyway, like I said, I know you say you're like, sad. You're always hungry. Yeah, true, true. Yuri comments quietly from behind her bug. That was Yuri. I thought Sayori said that. I was like, wait, what? Care to join the conversation, Yuri? <laughs> oh, um, I was just on something and I'm like, he, he's just like, he's just like, why are you intruding on our conversation? Like, I wasn't oversleeping. He, he was dropping, I promise. Yuri, even to me in a meeting. Tell him that if he was a true gentleman, he'd lend me some money. Oh, um, I really shouldn't get involved in this disagreement. Besides, if you spend all your money, then you shouldn't ask for more. You should learn to be responsible with the amount you have. And frankly, after pulling mischievous or something like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Wow, Yuri got real take charge all of a sudden. Wow, Yuri, I don't think I've ever heard you speak your mind like that before. It's a really neat side view. Oh, um, really? I didn't mean to speak out of turn or anything. I'm so sorry, just my book and all. Like that, Yuri's back to normal. You're right though, Yuri. I did something bad. Now I have to accept the revolution, revelation, retribution. He's like, he is three, double wrong. Like, and really say, Yuri, you shouldn't be too hard on yourself. I think we can all get a mischievous now and then, can't we? That's like, whoa. Yuri glances my for just a moment, smiling. Could she be? Well, don't give Sayori too much bad faith. Are you kidding me? Is he going to like suspect? He So he hasn't suspected Sayori, you know, um, as a thing for him. But just that one way, he's just that one sort of um, interaction. He's just like, he's already suspecting Yuri. She's pretty mischievous on a regular basis. She's pretty sneaky in the way she got me here. She had all plans. She even had cupcakes right for my arrival. But we know from the interaction from um what's it called sayori we know the interaction before then that it was actually a different reason why she brought the mc over ultimately for the club survival <laughs> well if you must know i knew i could get you come just by asking but i really want some puck so i convinced nazi as she needed to make them in order to get you here oh sayori how scandalous see she knows more than she lets on but again we know yuri actually knows why though that ultimately they need it for the club survival and then what of nowhere, cookie flies in like a missile and taxi her right between the eyes. Ow. Hey, look, this cookie appeared from nowhere. It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Oh, wow, the MC got on the second try. Actually, restitution sort of works in this case. Oh, great, cookie gods. Thank you for the miracle you have bestowed upon me. I got your cookie gods right there. I was just going to give that to you. But then I heard the bit about how you tricked me into making cupcakes. So I figured you had that one coming. What? Natsuki. Heh, you heard that bit about the cupcakes? I mean... To be fair, though, she would have done him regardless, but every word. Not that I mind too much. I enjoy baking. Sayori unwraps her miracle cookie and takes a big bite. Nazuki says, Ari unwraps. Suddenly, Sayori notices. Oh, yours is chocolate. I want a bite. Of course, mine's chocolate. Why did you think I kept it? I already got you one. Eat that one. Oh, Nazi. You're such a wonderful friend. Sayori steps behind Nazi and deliver one for panned advice grip bear hugs. My side's her in sympathy. Hey, let go. Nazi shows in vain to get free. As she does, Sayori leans over and takes a big bite out of Nazi's chocolate cookie. Hey. And say you're quickly achieves their corner to enjoy your ill-gotten gains. Monica, you need to rein you into your vice president. And then, but she's not here though. So we all look around. I, I assume this is in, she's not here in, as opposed to the excuse of, oh yeah, she was uh, practicing piano. Uh, they actually, I assume this is in relation to the sort of grand plan she was mentioning. In the commotion, none of us knows that Moscow was absent. Strange, she'd never been late to a lurch club before. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. It's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Huh? You don't think she she has a... I wouldn't be surprised. And they all immediately turn to assumption. But we know, again, that's indeed not the case. As we know, she's like... She's actually... This is in... Again, besides be, the, her being gone, likely being in relation to whatever grand plan it is, we know that she's actually not very... Um, what's it called love savvy or whatever or she's not very relationship savvy that's true excuse me suddenly the door swings open sorry i'm super sorry ah there you are i didn't mean to be late i hope you guys weren't worried or anything eh monica choose the club over a boyfriend after all you're so strong world boyfriend what on earth are you talking about ah never mind that what helped you up anyway well let's just say i've been thinking about the future and again so she's no longer saying um because before she said, oh, yeah, I had a piano or whatever. But now we know this is this is confirmation that it's in relation to whatever grand plan it was. The future, what kind of lame excuse is that? You know, you got to do some thinking every now and then. If you want to spend time with your boyfriend, you could have just told us. Boyfriend. Maybe it's my imagination, but I could have sworn Monica glance in my direction. Why is he becoming suspicious of everyone else over literally just glances? But he doesn't even, like, have any suspicion about Sayori having a thing for him. Like, what is that? Like, normally it's our way around with, like, males and females. But, like, that doesn't even matter. Just the situation. 
Leave me, Natsuki. It's nothing like, oh, I know what's going on. You do, Sayori? Of course. But she doesn't know about the grand plan. So maybe the grand plan... I don't know. Maybe the... But here's the thing. Because we assumed... Because we know the grand plan's being done for Monica somehow. And there's some... um letter or whatnot but yeah obviously given you know the post she's in there's yeah there's something and it's like you know yeah because it, it, it the grand plan's being done for monica so ultimately it can't be something it's not like she's doing it to set sayori up with the mc because you know it's being done for monica so we can only assume that and I, this reaction makes it seem as though sayori is not actually a part of it but monica and her boyfriend are secretly engaged bruh everyone's like 18 what no sayori when she says she's planning for the future, that's because she's planning a wedding with her secret lover. Oh, Monica, I'm so happy for you. Um, oh, how romantic, Monica. You simply must invite us all. Literally everyone in here is 18. They haven't even graduated high school yet. Guys, there isn't going to be a wedding. Oh, so you must be planning to elope then? What a pity. <laughs> Every, everyone's, oh my God. They're all just freaking piling on, but we know in fact that it's the exact opposite. Oh, maybe we could have a wedding reception in her honor. Sounds fine. What we want is try my hand at wedding cake. Seriously, guys, there's no boyfriend, no wedding, no wedding cake. My situation isn't nearly as exciting as you make it out to me. There's just some things going on that I need to take some time to deal with. You know, school stuff. This appointment spreads across the other girls' faces. That's why I'm like, I don't know why they hyped it up that much. Like, okay, it'd be one thing to say like, because yeah, it'd be one thing to say like, oh, you know, she's uh, with someone else. But then they freaking like talk, like hyped it up for like when? And like, th there's no reason for them to hype it up that much. So no wing cake then? Nope, like I said, pray born. The answer seems to satisfy everyone. Safe for Sayori. Quickly scoots over to Monica and whispers in her. Don't worry, Monica. Your secret's safe with me, but he better be cute. Right. Thanks, Sayori. Heh. So anyway, I didn't miss a thing, did I? No, not really. I guess that's my cue to start reading. <laughs> I, I have no clue why they hyped it up that much. Another chapter of Fortune and Markov and our volume parfait girls. Maybe getting better at reading so much, but it still drains me a bit. I head to the nearest chair sit down when Sayori or Sessi. Hey, would you be interested in a mission? A mission? Sure. What's up, Sayori? Heh. I need to get some supplies from another classroom. So they're actually doing all the interactions. Because again, he's reading with Yuri. He read with Natsuki. And now he's going to go with Sayori. So they're doing all the interactions. He's spending time with everyone. Monica and I are discussing advertisements for the festival. And they need some supplies to make posters and stuff. All right, I'll go with you. Yay. Monica, we need to get supplies. We'll be back. Let's see. We exit the classroom. We start looking for an R open one. Sayori skips down the hall. How many of so? She checks these classroom door. I can't help but laugh a little bit myself. It's like a kid sometimes, seeing pleasure in the simplest things. But we know, again, we know about our deeper issues. Can't lie, being around so much ladies made me a bit happier. So, Sayori, what are our plans for a festival anyway? And that's Sayori's plan. That's what she's trying to do. I'm not exactly sure what a literature club can do. What? what oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not exactly sure what a literature club can do. That would be exciting. Well, we thought about that as well. So, we decided to have poetry read. Poetry read, that sounds dull. Dull, actually. <laughs> and he's actually being honest here. Eh, oh, Raven. It isn't about reading poetry. It's about reciting poetry. There's a big difference. Oh, really? How so? Well, I'll take this as an example. So your stops miskip and clears the throat. Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? From now I look in every direction. The once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that. Wow. He's like, did that really come from Sayori? Uh, yeah. It's like, you really sound different when you uh, recite poetry. <laughs> And I guess I'm doing it right. Oh, this door is open. Are you ready for our mission, Agent? Why? But of course, Agent C or Agent S, Agent R. They, you need to use nicknames. You can't use Agent and then your own name. We both giggle a little as we head into an empty classroom. I know it's a bit silly, but I can't help myself around Sayori. Being around her brings back so many pleasant memories. It's almost nostalgic. I guess as I got older, I shut myself in more and more. Being with her again has brought back so many feelings I had forgotten about. I wonder. He's like, maybe he's fine. He, he'll find out he is a thing for Sayori, but... Let's see, the art supplies will probably be in the closet. I know because ultimately, like usually how it works is like, it, it's an evolution. You don't just immediately pick up with someone. Like ultimately, like there's like stages, right? Like obviously, you know, he's been with Sayori for a long time. So the next stage is fairly conceivable. It's ultimately for them to realize it. But we are on John's side, looking for whatever we can find. Oh, here we are. So you're producing one of those big boxes of crayons, the kind with the low crayon sharpener bolt in. Yes. Or even the good kind. She begins to pull various crayons out to examine them, carefully checking and putting them back in the box. See, right, isn't there still our stuff we need to get? Just a moment. I want to make sure my favorite colors are here. She spends a moment taking crayon stock until she seems sure she has what she needs. There, that should do it. Oh, I dropped one. Sayori bends over to pick up the old crayon when smack. What? Sayori manages to hear her hand on the shelf. The force of the bullet is enough to send her reeling back, dropping her to her knees. How is that even possible? Ow, Sayori. I wish her assigned attempt to investigate the wound. Ow, it hurts. Let me see. Move your hand. 
I, I still don't understand how that even happened. Like, I don't like enough force. Like, did you just like freaking headbutt the shell? Gently brush her bangs aside. A large red was be in the form where she air head. Yeah, it's gonna leave a bruise. I wonder if there's an ice pack or something around here. Oh, and I have an idea. And again, we know we had um, what's it called? We had the uh, first interaction with her where she was um, where ultimately he was like fixing up her blouse or whatever. But now it's the second one. Wait here, see her whimpers and nods a little. Head up to the hallway and find the nearest vending machine. Let's see, the drinks are empty, cold, are pretty cold coming out. So you could probably use one of those and it's an impromptu ice pack. Let's see, apple juice is your favorite. Not that it really matters. But I mean, if they're all the same, you might as well. Find the apple juice and insert a few coins. When the juice ball comes out, take it and head back to the classroom. See, here's Sayori. You can use this. Oh, apple juice. My favorite. <laughs> that's why it's like, she opens the can and starts to take a drink. Um, Sayori, that's for your head, not your stomach. Oh, right. Sayori so replaces the cap and holds up the drink to her head. How'd you manage to hit their head that hard? I don't even understand. Just lucky, I guess. Or unlucky. See, this kind of reminds me of when we were kids. Oh, how so? Well, you're always so fearless. You want to climb on everything and try to get to the highest spot. I tried so hard to keep up with you, but sometimes I just couldn't do it. I'd wind up falling and getting hurt and start crying. But you always come back to help me out. You would try so hard to get me to stop crying, even though it wasn't your fault. You're always looking out for me. Can't help but smile. Well, of course. I couldn't leave my best friend behind, could I? You're always thinking about our people. You know that, right? Oh, not really. It's just you, really. You just have that effect on me. See where he shakes her head. No, that's not it at all. You see now you are with Yuri and Natsu. You spend so much time with both of them. You're in what they like with, with them, even though I know you aren't much of a reader. You're such good friends to me, even though you haven't known them that long. You really are a sweetheart. Oh, stop. Why is hearing that from Sayori make me feel so weird? <laughs> well, you better figure that out soon. Well, everything I learned, I learned from you, Sayori. Sayori smiles at that comment. I'm glad we're still friends after all these years. I'm glad nothing's changed between us. That statement makes me feel warm inside. Me too, Sayori. Do you think we'll be like this forever? Well, that's kind of an odd question. I don't know the answer to that, Sayori. My eyes are about to change so much. With What with high school ending soon and college upcoming at all? She looks at me with a sore, sad expression on her face. Oh, I just don't know what I'd do without you. I think I'd be lost without you. And now she's always been real candid. I can't remember when she opened up like this before. I mean, it's one of those situations though. Like, because especially, because obviously like, you know, if it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you're going to open up a lot more to the other person, especially if it's someone you've known for a while and someone that you may or may not have feelings for, as opposed to like, it, it, obviously if it's a three-on-three, -three, you're not going to be that way, but. Again, one-on-one -on -one conversations like this. Well, I show up always like this, Sayori. I don't think I can make any promises, but if I can, I'll definitely be there for you. I mean, you aren't likely to change, right? You'll definitely mean me to take care of you, Sayori smiles. Yeah, me too. I'm so happy. She seems to like that answer. We should head back. Monica will start wondering where you are after, ben, after being gone so long. No, no, no. Oh, Sayori said that. I thought the MC said that. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Just chill. I wouldn't want her to worry. Well, she might be worried after she sees your forehead. Here, let me help you up. And then, yeah, we're done with that. I hope so you order her feet slowly. Check the spot where she banged her head. I'll take the drink. I take it, the drink. I think the, Jesus. I think the drink helped keeping it from swelling too much. It's still red though. I'll try high behind my bangs. But that we head back to the club room. Yeah, I mean, they're the same color, but yeah. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm going to end it here. Um, Yeah, so I guess the main thing to note from this part would be that Monica's conversation. We knowing that it's, there's, you know, some grand plan, grandiose plan in effect that which is likely what she was gone and prepping for. But at first I thought, you know, with what, cause again, we don't have enough information to make a good judgment. I figured with what little information we had, then maybe Sayori was trying to set her up with the MC, but ultimately maybe it's, that doesn't seem to be the case that Sayori doesn't seem to know about it, but I don't know. Maybe she does. And maybe she's kind of doubling down or maybe she was just acting as if she doesn't know, but while still somehow pressing Monica, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. And then also, I guess that that's the first thing, but then the next thing being um, that there has been a time skip and that it has been some time since the start. So we can assume they're in the regular, um, they're in the regular midst of things. So, yeah. And then also put again, that inner, that's the sort of this, the interactions the MC has had with Sayori, like the first one where he was fixing her up and the second one just now, you know, maybe he himself will actually realize. And that would ultimately, that, that'd be like the plot twist. Like the MC actually does something, but yeah, that could potentially even be the case. Like maybe he himself 
like realizes as opposed to like anyone else but i guess they've all kind of realized but again there's the time skip kind of throws that up in the air but yeah i guess i mean yeah i don't really have anything else to say so um yep i guess that's it for this one uh see you in the next one